Welcome, this is a demonstration on how to put a blog on your website and for this tutorial to be of any use to you you have to have the WordPress system and also the Divi theme. So let's go ahead and um, talk about what we are going to do in this demonstration. I've got a a link here which uh, if I click it it goes to a page where I've just got some text what I'm going to be working on and demonstrating is how to get a blog onto this page so the first thing you need to do is to go to your the, the back end of your website access and you need to type in your username your password and click the login button and then you're presented with the customization screen so here we go at, uh, what I want to do now is uh, have a look at the page and just identify the area that I want the blog to be placed into um, this is in uh, in the pages section and if you scroll down to the page that you want to put in the blog area this uh, then loads up the areas which you have and what I'm going to do is add a image to the side and this text is going to be part of that page and then underneath it I want the blog area so I'm going to add a new row I'm going to add some columns. I'm going to have one quarter and three quarter. Here I'm going to have a image, and I'm going to upload that image. I'm just going to put in a stock image for the moment, so that you can uh, come back later and, and change that. And here I'm going to put in this text module very interesting how you can just drag that and pop that in in there and it, it will accept that in a moment and I'm going to get rid of this area here and I'm going to update it and if I now have a look at uh, to view the page the image and the text are in the correct place and this is the area here which I want to insert the blog. So let's go back to the dashboard. So the next thing we need to do is to go and add the uh, category. Um, this becomes the holding for your blog. So we're going to post and go into categories. And here I'm going to put in the title of uh, search engine optimization. The slug which is kind of like the search engine friendly is um, tends to be just the words with a hyphen underneath and the description I'm just going to paste in the uh, same as the title for the moment and add that as a category so you'll notice that this this becomes now at the top and that's now added a new category for your blog and that holds the data for all your blog but now what we need to do is go back to your page and add that blog so going to uh, the page that you want to add the blog and go into add a new a new row in this section and I'm going to insert the columns being um, a single column full width and I'm going to insert then the module and it's going to be the blog module here you identify the category that we've just created and I'll just do some customization. I want to show all the content and I want to do it on a, a light 
text color and with the admin label I'm going to paste in these details and I'm going to put in a hyphen in there as well and it's so I can identify it and it makes it friendly for the search engines as well so, so we're just going to save that this brings us back to the configuration of that page and we can now update that page and we could view the, view the page as well so this, in, this is now getting there, we've got the image, we've got the text and we've also got this area now which uh, says there's no results have been found so it is that what you can identify here is it's going to look for the results but there's nothing in there uh, which it can bring in so let's go back to the dashboard so we need to go and do a new post now so if you go into the post section and you go into the add new post <coughs> and we're going to put a title in here, I'm going to paste in the, the I wonder what's happened at the back there okay okay and I'm just going to put in the uh, a bit of text here so this is this is really the the key to putting this post in the correct and starting the procedure for being able to post in this area you've got to tick this box this is often the way which mistakes are made and it doesn't really look right make sure that this is ticked in the correct category and starts the first blog where you want it to be and if you publish that and we can now go back to view the site here we have the uh, link and we have the image, we've got the text this is the blog and if you click the yellow text in this uh, section here this starts the blog and the uh, the first post was this text and you can log in and leave your own blog here so thank you for coming and having a look at this tutorial on how to insert a blog on your website